Katia, we have modeled how the final product would look like. This is the final product with the solar panels on the top. In the exploded view, you can see the CMOS camera, the battery box, the batteries and the PCB containing all the ICs and the bagel bone chip. The system consists of three parts. The electrical power system, the payload and the data handling system. The electrical power system is responsible for harvesting and distributing the power from the solar panels. The payload is responsible for processing the raw images to obtain the necessary output. And the data handling subsystem is responsible for the signal time computation and directing the traffic signals based on the payload output. Hi, my name is Thomas John. I will be explaining the power supply of the system. Uh, the power source of the entire system is solar. We've got solar panels on the top side of the uh, modular box, which supplies a voltage range of 0 to 5 volts. The first IC that comes up is the SPV1040 from SC Microelectronics. It has an input range of 0.7 to 5 volts. Uh, it performs the functionality of maximum power point tracking. Uh, the BQ24210 is a dedicated battery charger IC, uh, specifically for lithium ion batteries. It uh, charges the batteries using a constant current, constant voltage algorithm. We are using three batteries in parallel which will be placed within a secure battery box. As you can see, the battery is being charged from near about 3.7 volts to currently 3.9 volts and we charge to a peak of 4.2 volts with a current of around 0.42 amperes. The battery output will be connected through a boost regulator which is a TPS6123X from Texas Instruments so as to step up the voltage to a constant line voltage of 5 volts. This 5 volts is necessary to supply power to both the onboard uh, beagle bone board as well as the camera. Uh, as you can see the TPS6123X IC is regulating the battery voltage to a constant voltage of uh, 5 volts average of 5.03 with a peak of 5 point, upper peak of 5.12 volts and a lower peak of 4.94 volts. In this acquisition, we are using a simple UART interface. This is the CMOS camera. It's powered up by 5 volt line. The yellow line is the RX and the green line is the TX. After image acquisition, as we get the raw image frames, we start with the algorithm for vehicle counting and congestion detection. We have also built a controller dashboard for first time setup of ROI, that is, region of interest and other controlling parameters. The ROI is determined by parameters L1, L2, L3 and L4. We also calculate the Laplacian image to get the measure for congestion determination. Next major algorithm is frame differencing, which is followed by thresholding to get inter-frame difference map that is IDM. Then contour detection and band thresholding on contour areas of IDM are done to detect moving vehicles. Finally, counter accumulators are incremented to give vehicle count. This is the flowchart for signal time computation. Image processing algorithm provides number of vehicles in each lane as input. In addition to this, timing threshold and timing period is provided as an input from the operator. These values are used to compute the green signal time for each lane that is T1, T2 and T3 using the formula as shown. Computed times are compared with the threshold values and are normalized if the value is not within the threshold. This is done by removing the extra time beyond the threshold and then adding or removing the time from other two signals so as to normalize all the three times. Computed time values are given as output to the traffic signal and same procedure is repeated once every time period. We have applied the signal time distribution algorithm in the prototype. Algorithm in BeagleBone is given three images as input. Image 1 to signal A, image 2 to signal B and image 3 to signal C. Time period is given as 30 seconds and minimum and maximum thresholds are 5 and 20 seconds respectively. Since traffic is maximum from side A, maximum green signal time is given to A, whereas C has the least traffic congestion, so the least green signal time is given to C. We have compiled all the three subsystems to build a working prototype of smart traffic management system that is completely portable and can be easily integrated into an existing system. This is how our prototype looks like right now. As our product is going to be incorporated into existing traffic systems, we're not worried about the lights right now. As you can see, there are solar panels on the top and there's a small slit for the camera. These outputs here, they go to the traffic lights through a relay system. And these wires over here, 
act as the inputs from the pedestrian switches. Now Thomas will explain how it looks like on the inside. Now, as you can see within the box, the output from the panels are connected to the printed circuit board. We've designed the PCB so as to make it as compact as possible and we've used only SMB components. This is the battery box. Within the battery box, the batteries are housed and we have dedicated 5 volt bus lines coming from the PCB to both the BeagleBone Black as well as the camera. Now over to Shubham. Coming to the software part, we have cross compiled our code for the BeagleBone platform. And this includes our three major algorithms. The first one, vehicle counting and detection. The second one, traffic congestion. And third one, time signal distribution. 